growing together, where we grow together in our faith, our family, and our friends. Today, I've got a different kind of story for you, but before we get there, let's remind ourselves, what are we learning about this month? That's right, integrity. Now, now what is integrity again? Well, let me tell you. Integrity is choosing to be truthful in whatever you say and do. And then how many of you remember our verse for this month? Let's check in with Audrey to get a reminder. Hi guys, it's Audrey. Your monthly memory verse is, anyone who lives without blame walks safely, but anyone who takes a crooked path will get caught. Proverbs 10, 9. There's so many ways that you can remember this verse. I write mine down on a sticky note and I leave this in my pencil bag. So whenever I'm looking for a pencil, I can remember this quote. You can also write yours down and put yours in your pencil bag or your shoe or right next to your mirror. You could say it to a family member and you could write it down 20 times to remember it. I'll see you guys later, bye. Yeah, and that's why we're learning about integrity this month because telling the truth is so important. And that sounds really good, right? I mean, we all want to be truthful because the fact is I'm not perfect, you're not perfect, nobody's perfect. And so what do we do when we make a mistake? Because we all end up doing something wrong, whether it was a complete accident or maybe we even did it on purpose. But as Christians, we're not called to be perfect, but we're called to be truthful. And so for my story today, it's not from the Bible, but it's from my own family. And before we get into it, let me introduce you to our characters. We've got Emmy. We've got Willow. Now when we're at home, one of our favorite things to do is play. And one day, Emmy was over in her kitchen preparing some food while Willow was in the middle of the living room building with her magnetiles. Now Willow loves to build as tall of magnetiles as she can. But when she was done, she ran off because she had to go potty. But then Emmy came running through the living room to come tell me something. And unfortunately, she ran into the magnetiles and knocked them all over the floor. And at this point, she was left with a really big decision to make. Should she try and cover it up with a blanket like it never happened? Or she could blame it on our dog, Lady. Or she could blame it on our cat, Grandpa. Or maybe she could tell the truth. But she knew if she told the truth, she would hurt Willow's feelings because Willow spent so much time trying to build that tower as tall as she could. So maybe if she tried to cover it up or blame it on somebody else, Willow wouldn't be so upset with Emmy. But that would be a lie. And more often than not, when we choose to lie, the truth eventually comes out. And when that inevitably happens, people get hurt even more. And so Emmy decided to tell Willow the truth. And when she did, Willow was sad about it. But even though it hurt Willow's feelings, she knew that Emmy loved her so much that she was willing to tell her the truth, even though it might have some consequences. But shortly after that, Emmy offered to help build the tower back even taller. And they had a great time playing with magnetiles together. And this story reminds me so much of our relationship with God. Because no matter what we do, God knows the truth. We can't hide anything from God. God knows what we're thinking and how we're feeling and why we make the decisions that we do. And God loves you no matter what. And that's why we want to always try to tell the truth. Because while I didn't have a story from the Bible to tell us today, I do have a verse that reminds us of how important it is to tell the truth. And it comes from 1 John chapter 1, verse 9. And here it says, But God is faithful and fair. If we confess our sins, He will forgive our sins. He will forgive every wrong thing we have ever done. He will make us pure. And even though Emmy might not have wanted to tell Willow that she was the one that knocked down her tower, when you have integrity, even when it's hard to tell the truth, you do. Because we know we're honoring God when we tell the truth. And when we tell the truth, we offer an opportunity for people to forgive one another. And there's no point from trying to keep the truth from God because God knows everything. And that brings us to our bottom line today, that being truthful with God keeps you close to Him. And while we think about that, let's check out what our question of the day is from Audrey. 
Hey guys, your question of the day is, have you ever had to tell the truth even when you didn't want to? And I think of a very specific time that I had to tell the truth even when I didn't want to. I was supposed to clean my room, but I didn't. But I know that I'm not supposed to lie to anyone. So I told my mom I did not clean my room. And while she was very frustrated that I didn't have it done, she was very grateful that I was not lying to her. But then I had to go clean my room. <laughs> Bye guys. And as we wrap up today, I hope we remember that telling the truth is one, important for our relationship with God and being close to God. But two, is that it helps our relationships with those around us that we love. And that telling the truth is not always going to be easy, but with integrity, we can push ourselves because we know it's the right thing and it's the way that we can love one another. And so get out there this week, go tell the truth, try our best not to make mistakes, but when we do, we know that we can love one another and love God by telling the truth. I hope you all have a great week and I'll see you next time. together <laughs> you big monsters that was how candy